Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about how to fix iPhone XS or iPhone XS Max that won't turn on. When your iPhone XS is not turning on, everything got tricky because you can't get access to your data. Device turns off suddenly while using and it won't turn back on even with power button. All you see is a black screen. The phone doesn't responding to anything. You try to charge, only finding that your iPhone X are not turning on or charging even when plugged in and fully charged for hours. Maybe you can turn on iPhone XS, but it becomes stuck on Apple logo when turning on and never boots up to the home screen. Don't give up. This video will tell you show how to fix an iPhone XS or iPhone XS Max that won't turn on and bring your phone back to life. Now, let me explain why your iPhone XS screen go black and won't turn on. First, phone battery is draining. If your iPhone XS all of a sudden turned off and can't be turned on, it may run out of power and ends up with a black screen that doesn't come on. Second, broken charging components. If you charged your iPhone XS overnight and the display didn't pop up or turn on, one of the charging components might fail to deliver power to the phone normally. Third, system bugs. A system crash caused from a misbehaving app or accumulated system cache would render iPhone XS not powering on and unresponsive, or worse, black screen of death issue. Fourth, iOS firmware goes wrong. If you can't turn on iPhone XS after the update, the iOS firmware downloading or installing process goes awry, resulting the device not turning on with that Apple logo appears and disappears. Fifth, bad display. Have you ever cleaned the phone screen with alcohol or cracked the display? If you do, you might have a bad display, which stops your iPhone XS from turning on. Okay, it's time to know what to do if your iPhone XS won't turn on. Solution 1, Charge Drain Battery. If your iPhone XS won't turn on after dying, connect your device into power and let it charge at least one hour. You should see a charging icon showing up on the unresponsive black screen. After an hour, see if your iPhone XS powers on now. If not, long press the power button on the right side until Apple logo appears. A few seconds later, your device should boot up normally to the lock screen. Solution 2, Force Restart iPhone XS. Doing a forced restart is to force turn off your iPhone XS and then turn it back on to clear out the system bugs and refresh the stuck operating system. Here's what you need to do. You can try a few times if you can't do it right once. Also, make sure to keep your iPhone XS charged while doing the reboot. Press the volume up button then release. Press the volume down button then release. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right. Keep holding the button until you see the Apple logo showing up from the not turning iPhone XS screen. 10 to 15 seconds is needed. Then, your device will take a few more seconds to power on and boot up to the lock screen. That's it. Enter the passcode and use your device as usual. Solution 3, Check Charging Accessories. If your iPhone XS still won't turn on, the next thing to do is to check charging components. There are a few items you need to check if your iPhone XS won't turn on or charge. First, clean the charging port on bottom of your phone with a soft and dry brush to clean away the dirt. Second, check if the charging cable is damaged or bent. Third, check if the charger or the USB adapter gets worn out or broken. Fourth, check if you charge the not turning on iPhone XS using wall power outlet. If you charge the device using USB ports in a computer or a power bank, they might fail to deliver enough power to get your device charged and turn on. After all the checking, use these good charging accessories to charge your iPhone XS and see if it turns on now. If your iPhone XS still doesn't power on automatically, try force it to turn on. As long as the display is good and you didn't drop the phone or replace the battery, you should successfully get your iPhone XS to turn on. Solution 4, Upgrade System. If your iPhone X is charging but not turning on and keep flashing Apple logo, the iOS firmware is at fault. Apple has released recovery mode to help you reinstall the latest iOS firmware to fix up the wrong one. No data will be deleted and it's a truly useful tip if your iPhone XS turns on but gets stuck during start up in Apple logo screen or a red or blue screen. Alright, let me show you how to use the recovery mode. You can go through all the steps first before taking practice. Use an Apple USB cable to connect the phone to a computer first. Then, launch iTunes in a Windows PC or a Mac running Mac OS Mojave 10.14 or earlier. 
If you use a Mac with macOS Catalina 10.15 or above, use Finder instead. Next, press some buttons combination to put your iPhone 10 into recovery mode. Press the volume up button and let it go. Press the volume down button and let it go. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right. Still keep holding the side button even when Apple logo pops up. When the black screen on your not turning on iPhone XS prompts a computer and a USB cable, it means that the device enters recovery mode. Keep your phone connected and head to the iTunes or Finder window. A message will pop up and ask you to update or restore the phone. Click the update button, follow the on-screen instructions. All that's left to do is to wait for iTunes or Finder to download and install the most recent iOS firmware into your device. If you're lucky, you will see Apple logo appears again and your iPhone XS powers on. Solution 5, do a reset. If your iPhone XS, Max, still won't turn on and is not responding, it may be a black screen of death issue when you'll have to factory reset the device. Noted that everything on your device will be removed with the reset unless you have backups. Connect the phone to a computer and launch iTunes or Finder. Next, press the volume up button and let it go. Press the volume down button and let it go. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right. Still keep holding the side button even when Apple logo pops up. Let go of the button when you see the recovery mode screen. In iTunes or Finder, click the restore button from the dialog box that prompts. Patiently wait 1 to 3 hours to let the restore process complete and then see if your iPhone XS finally powers on and works again. Solution 6, go to Apple Service Center. If none of the solutions above fix the iPhone XS not powering on issue, you should deal with the problems related to the device hardware components. Here are a few of them. Broken charging cable, charger, power adapter and iPhone XS or iPhone XS Max charging port. The power on or off button is not working or responding. Your iPhone XS won't turn on after getting wet, screen replacement, or breaking down. To fix up your device in these scenarios, it's a wise move to take your phone to the Apple authorized Apple Repair Center and let the genius guys there examine the device. That's all how to fix an Apple iPhone XS or iPhone XS Max that won't turn on with a black screen. Hope this video can help you power on the device so that you access the content inside to make everything back to working order. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.